Okay, I think we're uh, we're okay. I think I think. Hey, hello, everybody, hearing me? Yeah, of course you're hearing me. Let me just look over here as I always do to make sure that it's coming through. Okay, and uh, yeah, there it is, and uh, there I am. I can see myself over there, and we're we're gone. Meeting is now streaming live on Facebook and also. Uh, nowhere else, but it'll be on later. By the way, uh, uh, it'll be on uh, YouTube, but not live. It'll be on YouTube after we broadcast it. I post it and I put it up there. Just looking to see what I would look like without my bags here. The bags under my, does that make me look younger? Would I, be, would I look a lot younger here if I did that? Instead of being all tired, and whatever. Anyway, uh, this is the first day that my wife is home. We'll explain that when she calls, but she hasn't called yet. But a lot of people have, so let's admit them all as we say hello to Scott Boddicker, Rick Schechtman, Jeff Stein, Edward Berger, Len LaFrisco. And uh, here comes uh, here comes uh, Marjorie Miller. Here she comes. Hello there, Marjorie, uh, who reminds me uh, every day in the last couple of days, how do you like me not having a job? How do you like me not going to work? How do you like oh. me? Uh, yeah. That's not what I said. What did you say? I said today is the fourth day of my retirement. Yeah. Are we going to get that every day until death? I'm going to that. <laughs> you know, uh, this is my fourth. How do you like me on my fourth day of retirement? How is it different from your third day of retirement? Well, and how will it be different from your fifth day of retirement? She wants yeah. to see who won the, won the bet from last week who was going to kill each other first. Well, <laughs> uh, forget that bet. Just make a bet on when I'm going to kill myself. Okay. <laughs> Uh, by the way, um, uh, yeah, yeah, it, she's she's not really retired technically. But wasn't she working from home the last two years, more or it's less? It's like when she was working at home. I mean, there's no difference, you know. I'm it, not on home at home. I'm just on the call. They have a problem. Yeah, but but you it's are different. technically you are getting a paycheck every month. You are technically still employed. And getting health care insurance. And getting health care insurance and all of that. So paycheck at 25% of what I was making. Yeah. And she was making a million dollars a year. So <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. It's retirement. It, it's it when that's not retirement. Like a okay, is what I've been doing retirement for the last eight years or nine years. <laughs> Come on. Not really. Is, is that retirement? Have I retired? I don't know. It, well, it, Marjorie can go be a greeter at Costco. I can. I can't stand up <laughs> for those hours. I have a bad back. Yeah. Alex, Alex can. No, I can't. I don't want to be a greeter at Costco. <laughs> I don't think they have greeters at Costco. Maybe Walmart. Walmart. Oh, Walmart. Yeah, they they use nothing but old people there, right? Yeah. Well, now at Costco, when you walk in, you have to show your card. Yeah, but it's usually like my at mine is usually a younger a younger guy, yeah. a younger woman. I mean, younger in comparison to me. <laughs> and again, everybody's younger in comparison to me. And then on the way out, you have to show your checkout. Yeah. So, so that's the goodbye greeter. Yeah. You know, the, well, the, that's the where they where they check everything that you've taken. You, do you ever notice yeah. at the bottom of your Costco uh, receipt is a number, a big number, and that's the number of items. Number of items, yeah. The number really? of items. Yeah. Huh? yeah. yeah. Number Basically, of items. They're, they're they're they're, they're, yeah. Look, you got one there, right? Look, see yeah. right at the bottom. See that? Right hold here, it up. Hold it. We can't see it. You got, you got to hold higher. it up, Scott. A little higher. But you see that number so right there. He got he had 17 items when he got out. Oh. So what they do is they then count how many items you have in your in your basket. And if you've got like uh, 18, they're going to try and figure that you're probably trying to sneak something out how, on them. How yeah. can you get 18? They check you out. Well, they do have some self-checkout, I guess, but we never used it. Do, do they have self-checkout? 
Mine does. Texas, yes. Oh, yes. really? I've never. I don't go through the. Uh, uh, you know, do the uh, the. I I would rather have somebody adding up all my stuff. Mm -hmm. You know than going to one of those checkout things and doing it myself. Well, you, you should at least get benefits if you're going to be an employee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, uh, what's her name? Her name. And uh, <laughs> better known as Mandy. And uh, hello also to, uh, let's see here, who else joined us? Uh, uh, gee, I thought there was somebody else who had joined us. Mike. 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 Yo, Mike has joined us. And uh, Steve Bender's back again. How's everything downtown? Just fine. I mean, it's, you know, I got um, my second booster and my shingle shots. So I was flattened for yes. Try and yesterday. say that three times fast. I know. <laughs> shingle <laughs> shot, shingle shot, shot, shingle shot. Probably shouldn't have done them both the same day, but, you know. Yeah. To get it out of the way. And the shingle yeah. shot probably will hurt more than the, uh, than the, uh, <laughs> Yeah, because it's it's a I, it has something to do with the viscosity of the uh, of the solution. I think. I don't know. It, 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 hurts. it hurts. Yeah, they did them in different arms, and the shingles one was much more inflamed and painful. Yeah. Well, this one hurt a little bit for a couple of days. It was tender, but uh, I uh, uh, I I was not feeling well that night. I, I, was I, know, I didn't feel well. That night. Yeah. 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 I remember a couple of days later, both of us weren't feeling like. Like we got our shots on a Wednesday, and I think that Friday both of us were feeling like yucky. Yeah, but who cares? Right. Yeah, you know, totally. Who cares? It's no big deal, you know. So you feel yucky a little bit. There's Jeff Stein. He's joined us, and um, Mandy, how's everything down in lovely GA? It's great. <laughs> really? Is it sunny down there today? It is beautiful today. Yes. Beautiful. Mm. Mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Is it beautiful today, Marjorie? You went out. Yeah, it is, it is beautiful. Be beautiful. Okay. Yeah. I just don't go out anymore. Guess who's calling, Alex? What? Guess who's calling right now? Who's calling? What do you think? Your brother? No. Oh, he's. She's got it. This is the guy we rented the apartment from. Oh, oh. And to be honest with you, he's being a real pain in the ass. Put it on speaker, please. <laughs> <laughs> we want to hear. <laughs> we want to hear. It. Come on. We've heard uh, so much about this guy for so long. Let's let's take it up a notch. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know it never stops. Look at this. He was here. He was here. Oh, perfect. Bring him on camera. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean he was? What do you mean he was here? Calling from downstairs. I said, didn't you get my voicemail? I said, Alex has a show between four and five. Oh. Oh, oh I guess I'll see you after five. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> oh, yeah. boy. No, bring him on. Tell him we got some questions for him. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well. Yeah, like why does St. John stink? <laughs> well, let's not get into that. Sir, how do you think a mirror is not connected to the wall? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we were very nice about everything, you know, and it was no, I, it cost me a bit of money for him to take that stuff because when he took the air conditioner out of the guest room, I had to replace it with another get, air conditioner. When we took a chandelier off the uh, dining room ceiling, we had to replace it with, we replaced it with a fan with a light in it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but then we had to, then we had to hire our, he had these old bathroom uh, cabinets that were broken down, held together yeah. by, by so, a paper. So that board. was another, what, $300? Five dollars for them. And then That's we wild. paid another 200 to get them assembled. And also I paid another 200 to our super to put all this stuff up. So, could, you know, for, by him taking it, it cost us a little, quite a bit yeah. of money. So finally, when we had to send him his big check, the big check we owed him, we took $4,200 out and made it short to $4,200 because... We were owed a uh, what do you call it? Deposit. The deposit right. was returned. Right. And we know that if we didn't do it that way, we'd never get it from him. Right. Okay? So now he's complaining about that. Oh, they, there's going to be trouble. What trouble? The whole thing's over with. You know. Right. And it just drives me nuts. You know, I am tired of having to put up with this crap. 
been going on for a really long time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Plus years. This is, this is like a guy who uh, calls you up and says, uh, and you're glad he left the party because he was a pain in the ass. And then he calls you up and says, oh, by the way, I left my hat there. Mm-hmm. Come back and get it. And then you got to put up with him again. You know, th- this time it was his chandelier. You couldn't get the chandelier down. It's attached to the fucking house. He's not supposed to get it anyway. Well, we didn't know. We agreed in the co- in court. He said he wanted his chandelier back. It's cheap cut glass. He said, yeah. if I showed you this thing, every one of you, if I wanted to give it to you, <laughs> would not accept it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and and quite frankly, I'm 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 glad when it gets out of here because it's filthy too. It's been sitting up there for 18 years, yeah. gathering dust and all the smoke and soot and everything coming from the kitchen, and it's just this big giant, you know, catcher. Why does he want to? See, why does he want to see you now? What's what's there left to resolve? He's coming back for the chandelier that we removed for him. Oh. Without charging him. Oh, because we, he was removing air conditioners and ripping them out of the out of the. Well, uh, then window. Alex, leave the chandelier outside the door. Right. I I told Marjorie yeah. to do that. I'm going to take care of it. Yeah. Well. Anyway. Uh, so uh, he's you know so he's complaining about the forty two hundred dollars. He says you're nickel and diming me. I'm what? Well, he's <laughs> been nickel and diming you the last month or two. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. In what? World is forty two hundred dollars nickel and diming. Right, nickel. That's quarter yeah. and half dollar. I, I mean, maybe a couple about a hundred years from now it'll be nickel and diming, but right now it's not. So anyway, so how's everything down there, Mandy in Georgia? I started asking you, and then we got into this. Um, it's it's good. I'm just still trying to get through tax season. Through tax season, I need to do my mom's taxes. I guess I'll do this tonight. Oh, okay, so you, you're you the one who gets entrusted with doing everybody's taxes? Not everybody's, just my mom. I oh, mean, okay. Because my right. dad do them, and then he he's not he's no longer with us, so he was an accountant. Yes. But um, kind of got passed to me to do them. But yeah. I just use turbo tax. They're super easy to do. Well, do you work as an accountant, actually? That is what I do, yes. That's what you do. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's, uh, and, and um, so. But I'm just in the private yeah. industry. I'm. But we have a lot of companies where I work, and so we have a CPA that does all, all of our taxes, retur- tax returns, but then I have to deal with all the tax payments and all that stuff that we you have. You have to deal pay. with all the money and who, how much money was here and how much money was there and how much money was spent on this so that you can then hand it to the CPA so we can then figure out what the taxes are going to be. Right, right. Very good. Very Fun. good. See, That's Marjorie, right. let me just point this out. She's working. <laughs> but i was gonna say what does that have to do with marjorie nothing i'm retired four days yeah. in. i'm sorry for the past eight years i felt like a pimp okay <laughs> hey bitch did you go to work today and make me some money <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad she doesn't have to work anymore i'm so, sorry I mean, it, you know, we have to tighten our belts a little bit, but, you know, I mean, it's time. She's, you know, she's an old broad oh, and, <laughs> and she shouldn't have to work at this time in her life. At this right. time in our life, we should have nothing but wax lips and uh, nice chocolates and so on. <laughs> so anyway, Shecky, anything new with she, you, Shecky? No, nothing. No? Okay. So, um, uh, as long as you were, watch, I did watch the Julia show on what is it, HBO it's, Max. It's good. It's, it's, I was wondering it's about good. that. It's very good. I I didn't think it was going to be very good, and then we watched it, and I went, "This is I'm enjoying." It. You know, it's all about Julia Child, in case people don't know what we're talking oh, about. And it's on HBO Max, and it's very it's very good. Um, I was wondering yeah. about that. I was trying- to tell me what to watch so what i always rely on y'all to like give yeah. me a <laughs> right watch. i think you'll i think you'll really enjoy it but the only trouble yeah. is hbo does this thing where they 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 show you three episodes yes so you get hooked on it and then they parcel one out a week after that yep. oh. and you're going come on hbo can't you you know about the only company really that does 
complete binge watching now is oh, is uh, is net, uh, Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. And I think the reason Hulu does the same thing. Oh, who does it? Hulu. Who? Remember how they no, who, only on some shows. Like we're watching that uh, that thing about that woman who started that uh, company. Yes. Uh, 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 dropout. Dropout. Yeah. No. Oh. And that's one a week. You know. And I'm waiting for her to just have the boom lowered on her. And then I'm over at, 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 at um, uh, what do you call it? Um, Showtime. And I've been watching this thing on uh, 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 Uber, on the guy who started Uber. Who Really, it's just a, it's a show about a dick is what it is. <laughs> and it's, but it's, it's quite good, you know, but it's only one a week. So, I mean, it's getting to the point where the only per- people that are really doing binge watching is uh, is uh, Netflix. Yes, Mike Chisholm. So my wife is building a tech company. She's building a men's mental wellness app. And um, now we're not at the point where we've taken on investors and things like that for it. It's just kind of getting to that place right now. Mm-hmm. But I'll tell you, she's been part of a lot of tech accelerators and, and, and uh, these groups and yeah. she watches this show and gets goosebumps because she's like, that's exactly how they talk. That's exactly the culture. Um, they nailed it. What do you mean on, on dropout? Uh, no, the, the Uber one. Oh, the Uber one. Oh, the Uber one. Yeah. They're kind of, they're similar in that they're both about basically tech companies. You don't think of Uber as a tech company, but Uber would not have been possible without an app. Oh, it's right. a total tech startup. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, they didn't own the cars. They don't put the gas in the cars. They don't fix them. They don't have a medallion that they own that they put on them. You know, it's just basically it's an app and a company that's forcing cities to take their uh, their their right their drivers as uh, as legitimate kind of a taxi services. Yeah, you know, Uber used to be a good deal. It is just not that great of a deal anymore. I mean, it's not, it's not a good deal. They pay their their people less than Lyft. Yeah. They don't give them good um, benefits or anything. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's absolutely right. But I mean, it used to be a reasonable deal to get around when you needed to, about eight or ten dollars a year or there. And now it's twenties and thirties. And you know, we were in Vegas. I sent my wife home and in an Uber, and it was forty dollars, and it was literally two miles, two and a half miles. Wow. Um, yeah. You know, it's gotten out of control. Do you remember Via in New York, Alex? Did you ever use Via? I, I was, never used Via. We Via used... Was, was five dollars anywhere in the city. Yeah, really. It was well, amazing. Long, they used to go long, up to Lincoln, how, up to Lincoln Center, and stuff from downtown. You know, five bucks. It was incredible. How, how long? How long ago was that? Uh, two years ago. Well, what was the pandemic? What was the one we? What was the one we started out with, and they got bought up by Lyft? Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it. It wasn't Via. It was another name. I uh, remember Via, though. Yeah, Via I went out of business. I mean, obviously, you can't drive people around the city for $5. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no. Especially today. Yeah. yeah. You know? uh, but if you step in a cab, it's $7 before you go a block. Usually. Yeah. Is that really? what it's up to now? Wow. Depends on the hour. But it well, what be. I do is I will take Lyft to go downtown because it's hard to get a cab up here okay but it then i i get the cab going downtown uh going uptown rather back home because there are lots of cabs available but i think they're going to be less available now because they have a deal now here in new york where all the yellow cabs can also work as ubers and lyft and, no, and, uh, no, not, not lyft yes. uber both shecky you know what we're talking about yeah i think it's both it's both. Oh. So my point is, wow. those cabs aren't going to stop for you anymore. They want to no. pick up a, a higher tab they're going to get out of out of being a Lyft uh, uh, ride. No, we I was were- reading a story today. Maybe was somebody at LAX was waiting for a Lyft or an Uber, and he saw the driver, and the driver just drove past him and said the passenger wasn't there. Oh. Ah. Because he was there trolling for a better sure. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, I mean, what's going to happen with these cabs are, let's say you're a cab and you can drive around town. You can pick up anybody that's waving you down or whatever. But now you've got a Lyft or an Uber call. 
you're going to take that before you pick somebody up on the street. Because you already know how much it's going to be before you accept it. So yeah, so you're not going to you're not going to uh, you're not going to take a cab. You're not going to be able to get a cab. Yeah. It was very very weird. Last night we got out. We were at Radio City Music Hall for a concert. We got out around midnight and on Fifth Avenue. Tons of traffic. Not a single cab. We ended up walking from Radio City Music Hall to like 33rd Street and finally saw a bus. But there was not a one cab on Fifth Avenue. Really? Wow. Well, they can't afford the gas. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Look in our neighborhood. You can't get a green cab or a yellow cab. They're just uh, don't exist. Anymore. We just call Lyft. We've we've yeah. given up. We just call Lyft. Yeah. And but uh, <clears throat> I mean, uh, they still have surge pricing too, right? Yeah. yeah. See, because I've sat there waiting, looking. I get my Lyft app ready before I'm ready to go. Sure. So it's just kind of sitting there. And I see the prices constantly changing as it's sitting there. Mm -hmm. So I figure, and then they've got, they've got this thing where if you go, if you're willing to wait 15 minutes, it's cheaper than if you're willing to wait three minutes. But yeah. if you tell them, okay, I'll go with the cheaper one, 15 minutes, they're there within three minutes anyway. Always. Always. So. Yeah, the sad truth is the subway is really the best way to get around town. I hate it. but Still is. Now, I like it, the it, Shecky, on the other oh, hand, doesn't know. Buses are the best, but you can get, but buses are erratic. or you know. Shecky okay. doesn't know from this because Shecky uh, uh, drives his own mm. car, but it's not worth what it once was because... The right door doesn't open easily. <laughs> what happened to it? <laughs> oh, nothing. Oh, I have a some, some friend of his. He picked up, pulled on the thing to open it, and the and the uh, the plastic uh, door thing fell off in his hand. Oh wow! And you know, oh, I mean, how old is that car, Shecky? Twenty-five years old, but no one has sat in that seat except yourself. In the last five years. Well, you know, but let's be honest. After that much time, the car is 25 oh, years old. Yeah. That that plastic, you know, they don't last forever. I mean, this is good news for the oceans of the world. But it's also, by the way, if I wanted to get it replaced at Toyota or the repair place, $500. For that little thing? Yep. Is but that because it's that old and they're hard to find? Or is no. it... They got you. Yeah. So uh, with the right with the right door not opening, if you were to pick me up as a new no, driver, it opens from I the money? outside. It opens so from the outside. Just, I become the chauffeur. Let's say Alex visits. I walk around and I open the door for him. Oh, okay. So do you charge extra if you're my Uber driver then? <laughs> but I did get an email from a friend of mine who drove my car two weeks ago, and she's like, "Your car is not." safe we're going car shopping and i'm thinking <laughs> because the door doesn't open properly i'm spending twenty five thousand dollars oh wait a minute yeah. she she was saying that the reason it was unsafe was because of that door no well because the driver's side door also has had felt had fallen off and i have tape on it that <laughs> i had to open it do you mean to say that if we get in that car sometime we will not be able to get out Catch on fire. No, oh, we can always no. climb over and get out the back. <laughs> <laughs> At 82 years old. Yeah, that's a good idea. Either that, either that, or or we could crawl out the window. Right. But she literally yeah. sent me an email yesterday. Your car is not safe. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't well. respond. Check it, you sent it. I'm not gonna mention it. No, it doesn't we wouldn't know who it was anyway. I thought it was the car company. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. But she's like, how about on April 15th, we go car shopping? And it's like, I haven't been, I haven't driven the car in two and a half weeks. So There's what no cars out there to buy anyway, Checky. Oh, you yeah. don't want to buy a car now. You absolutely yeah. don't. Yeah. No, I want a car with a moonroof. I can't, I don't think you can find one with the moonroof any, at the moment. You can't I'm, really I'm buying a vehicle right now, and I've got a nine-month wait. Yeah. Wow. wow. What are you trying to buy? Uh, I'm buying one of the new Ford Broncos. I'm buying the two-door one. Nice. And I've custom-made it. It's the first 
brand new vehicle that I've custom ordered. I'm very, very excited about it. Well, I, I, yeah, and you're excited about it. Now, maybe you'll get it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm hoping to get it by Christmas. It's on layaway. I keep going in there and putting a thousand dollars on it. Whatever happened week. to the days where you go into a car dealership and they're hustling you to drive it right out the door? <laughs> you know? on. I know, they're, now, they're now running gambling sites. <laughs> <laughs> we go get your money before the game ends. Oh, Alex, okay. the sales gal is a yeah. friend of mine. Yeah. And she better not leave employment from this Ford dealership. Thank God it's a great Ford dealership and she's been there a long time. She's got 40 vehicles coming. So you think about the average car salesperson and wow. what they make on a vehicle. She's got 40 brand new vehicles between the Ford trucks and the Broncos and all that coming between now and the end of the year. 40. Only right. 40? I mean, I I remember you go to a dealership. I'm, they, they, right, Scott? They'd hustle you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Are you can we can get you right out the door now. Yeah, we can get you right out the door, or we'll bring you to your house or apartment or whatever. They got like five acres, and they have twenty-seven new vehicles on the lot. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, seriously, that's, it's crazy. That's not a joke, right? Well, yeah, it's not a joke. They got them spaced all out and everything yeah. to make it look fuller. Yeah, there's no cars on any lots out here in California. That's amazing. No, if I want a new car, I mean, I enjoy having the moonroof. I don't think you can buy one with a moonroof. Yeah, sure you can, but you know, not. They're all over the place. But you just right now you got to wait. He's absolutely right. Well, you could move to the. And you can't get the color you want. You, you, yeah. yeah, you can have to order gray or red now. You could move to ways. you could move to Ukraine, and the Russians would be happy to put a moonroof in the car for you. Uh, a moonroof and a sunroof. Yeah. Well, he calls it a moonroof because he doesn't go out there in the sun. A moonroof <laughs> no, is one made of glass. Now they call it a moonroof. Oh, you you're, sun you're sun right. A moonroof is one with glass. Yeah, and a moon sunroof is just metal. Yeah. yeah. Opens. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And and the other just, is just opens. Right. Wait, but what did you say, uh, Mandy? A, a moonroof doesn't open. No, no. Oh, no, oh no, it opens. It opens, but, but it's made, made of glass. glass. Yeah. But, but it has a glass in it so that you can you don't have to open it but you can it has this thing you can move back and you've got glass so that you can see them and whatever uh, yeah. who's here alex oh what do you know hey, it's our old friend yeah you've got a beard huh yeah yeah i got bored so i figured why not well <laughs> It's, it's the David Letterman, run. right? <laughs> right. No, I, I, I'm hoping to get it that big. You want it to go that big? You know, I can only do it so many times in my life. And since I got it started, I figured it, I got nothing else going on. Well, mine is mine is longer than it was, but I keep it still at a certain length. You know? It looks good. It looks good. But you see, I can't do the whole thing on the sides because I got Pat. Marjorie says it's ugly. You got little patches missing. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> have a full beard. So I never can get that kind of beard, but Albert, yours is nice. Yeah, yours looks Thank great. You. Yeah, looks like I like doesn't think so, but yeah, it's okay. Mm. <laughs> and by by Christmas, you should be able to play Santa. I, I probably within the next two months, I'll be able to play Santa. Really? How fast did that grow out for you? This is only about uh just a little over a month, I think. Oh. Wow. No, wow. Not very long. Well, because if I wait a month, yeah, this will be longer. But you know. I, the first year of pandemic, mine got pretty Letterman-esque. I just didn't touch it for you know, almost a year. <laughs> About how long down your chin? It was pretty big. I mean, it was just bushy. You know, it just got you know, oh, wow. much thicker and bushier. Yeah, but you see, this stuff looks looks fine, right? You know, but like with Letterman's, it looks like he gets food in it. You know, he's got yeah. that kind <laughs> of... He stores food in it. It, yeah. it looks like he's on the line to get food from the food bank. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but whoever asks him about where's your top 10 list, that's one of the reasons he has it. Oh, yeah. Right, right. Um, by the way, I was watching, you know, they have old Letterman stuff on, on YouTube. And I watched a top 10 list last night, which on the surface sounds like a stupid idea, but it worked so well. And it was the top 10 numbers. From, yeah. 10 nine, 10 from 10 to 9. From 10 to 1. And so he goes, number 10. And he, he has Casey Kasem doing oh, the, in our number 10 spot. And then the uh, uh, Dave goes, 10. 
<laughs> and then he keeps going to eight. It's at nine. And then when he gets to eight, he goes five. <laughs> uh, I mean, it was just for some reason I was sitting. I was literally peeing my pants. It was that funny. You remember number one, right? Alex? What was number one? <laughs> three. I, I three, don't know. I think. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it wasn't one. <laughs> But I did mention to them, and none of you remember this probably, he had Julia Child on doing a cooking demo. And the night before, he had Penn and Teller doing their cockroach trick. Oh, that was on the- In the middle election. of her cooking demo, a cockroach shows up. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> so I asked Walter, and he goes, they haven't digitized it yet, because I do want to put that up, up on the- um, I'll tell you, something. <laughs> those were Madagascar hissing roaches, which are the most vile cockroaches you can find on the face of the planet. They're not dangerous or anything, but they hiss at you. Where do they live? I think it's like Madagascar, Africa. maybe? Madagascar. <laughs> I haven't been there. I think but I'll again, I'll give Julia credit. You know, the cockroach shows up on the cooking table and she just like, ow. Okay, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> she, I mean, what was wonderful about Julia is she would drop food. I remember watching a TV program with her, and she opens the range, and the brisket co comes out of the of the oven and rolls on the floor. <laughs> Back in the oven, and says, "Yeah, well, I mean, on the on the on the show, she says when that happens, uh, well, you know, if food falls while you're making it." There's nobody in the kitchen to see it, so you can just put it back on the plate. <laughs> Which is true. Yeah. Uh, We've all and again, that's another talking. show, David Hyde Pierce as her husband. Mm -hmm. Great. It's a perfect cat. It's very good. Uh, and uh, it's uh, no, but most of the actors are not people you particularly heard of. I never heard of the woman playing Julia Child. She was on a show called Happy Valley, I think, in England. She was a policewoman. Uh, I don't know if you remember that show, but that was the only show I remember her from. You know, but she was she's very good. She's very good. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about the Julia show, uh, Albert. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I, I, I hear you. Yeah. I haven't started it yet. Uh, okay, but I just wanted to tell you what it was because you joined us after we talked about it. Well, I, I recognize just from you talking and about I it. And I wanted to be considerate of you to not leave you, you out of the discussion if you Thank didn't you know what much. we were talking about. Thank you, Shane. <clears throat> hey, guys, talking about HBO shows and whatnot, I don't know if any people here have watched the L.A. Lakers show, but it is fantastic. It's yeah. very good. Yeah. I just finished a new episode this right before this show. Yeah. What's so about? good. Well, well, I've got to get to that eventually. Is and what you find Lakers? out is, quote, Dr. Jerry Buss was a miserable, <laughs> creepy piece of you know what. Yeah, you might want to watch it, Marjorie. I'm a giant L.A. Kings fan, and he owned the Kings as well. So I've heard Jerry Buss stories my whole life as well. And watching the show and it, it's shot like but it's remember, Dr. Remember, Jerry Buss. Don't Dr. Jerry. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Dr. Jerry Buss. Absolutely. Do you guys remember <laughs> Boogie Nights? Remember how Paul Thomas Anderson shot Boogie Nights? Yeah. It looked like it was out of the 70s. That's what this is shot like, except he takes it up a notch. It's so good the way it's shot. Is it a drama? Is, is it a, it's a drama, right? It's a, it's a drama. Yeah, yeah. It's not a documentary. No, behind oh, no, the scenes the creation. Slide saying many of the things in this show are fictional. You know what's interesting is a lot of these shows we're talking about that they've done little small mini series of and so on. Whether it's the woman who started that uh, tech company, um, I'm trying to remember Aronos. the name of it now. Uh, 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 but they Thorin Thoranos. Uh, uh, yeah, Thoranos. That was it. Uh, that that show, a dropout, is again about a pretty much disgusting bunch of people. You know, right. and then you go to the Hello, Brian. You go to the um, um, uh, thing about Uber, and it's a real another real asshole. They're doing all these shows about assholes mm -hmm. who made a lot of money. You made a lot of money, and it's compelling. You know, 
you know, speaking they're of, all the Donald Trumps of the world, so to speak. Speaking, you know? uh, speaking of assholes, we've been joined by Brian. Hello, <laughs> Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, Wait, now we, we, Mandy has her Mandy has her volume on because she just dropped her jaw. I just said hang, and then I was like, oh, I was on mute. <laughs> no, but, uh, on my screen, she's right above you. So it's what's her name, and then what's his name. <laughs> Perfect. And uh, how are you, Len? You haven't said anything today. Me? Yeah. Good. Looking for work. You know, don't really want to find a job, but if I do, I'll take it. If not, I am retired. Thanks I told you I'd you hire you. you I did? told you I'd hire you. Yeah, but, what, but what you wanted me to do, I wouldn't do. Well, there's always a price for something. Oh, now it's a show. <laughs> hey. If you, you start want... talking dollars, then we're just negotiating, right? <laughs> Do you have I openings your at your? Do you have openings at your company, uh, Brian? Oh yeah, every single thing. Cause it's a new factory, so that's everything. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I do project management stuff, so I don't know if that would fit. I should just. I should start a new Zoom show where people come on, and if they've right. got job openings, they can pitch them on the air. Right. Or well, I saw. I saw you drove by my house this morning, uh, Brian. I saw you posting. Yeah, I know. honked. I, I know if I woke you up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. How's everything down in uh, in uh, the wonderful world of Florida, Radio Albert? I don't uh, really know because I hang on a second because uh, I don't really pay attention. I know there's <laughs> a gay law that just passed. That's great, you know. So it just adds to the. You, you should just go out in your front lawn and yell "gay." <laughs> uh, it, it, it just it's not about that. It's about politics. It's not about people. They don't care who's gay and who's straight. They don't care about that at all. They just want to build the base by by coming up with this this insanity. Yeah, yeah. That's not you my know. Opinion. Frankly, if I were Disney, I literally would say we're closing <laughs> Disney World. What's going on here? Who, who's is that? <laughs> Edward? It's Edward. It's Edward. Was that Edward? He's got a call from Walt Disney. <laughs> <laughs> His voice. <laughs> No, they he want got to... a job. But yeah. No, if I, if I were Disney and they will never do it, I would just like, we're closing Disney World. Thank you. That's what Governor. I was saying. I, didn't I say that to you last night, Marjorie? If I were Disney, I would say, we're closing up or we're shutting down until you buckle. And let's see you get any, uh, see if you get any tourists into this goddamn hellhole. <laughs> you know? And at the right, same well, time, they, they can negotiate. They, they, care, but they don't care that much. Well, what what would you say, Albert? I said at the same time they can negotiate with another state to build the next magic kingdom. There you go. Yeah. Why, yeah. why, why stay here? What business yeah. would do that? And you could probably move a lot of what, what's in Disney World to the new place. You just take, take all the rides, put them on a truck, and move them over to State X. Hey, build yeah. it new with the technology. Why wouldn't you build it new? All yeah. right. Yeah. Of course, they're going to have a hard time in almost any other state finding the amount of land they bought in Florida because what they bought was basically they bought it for swamp. nothing. They bought yeah. a swamp. They bought they it was like a dollar an acre or something. Yeah. You tell me what state doesn't want the next Disney World in their state? They'll yeah. find a way around it. Well, I think Disney Iowa has enough property. Part of what yeah, the, the governor go. there is making a big deal out of is is that Disney World is its own municipality. And uh, they all have the fire department, the police departments, they do all that, it, but they make the rules and the laws and whatever you do with the city. Oh. And, and uh, the governor doesn't want them to be a municipality anymore. What the hell does he want them to be? There was nothing there to begin with, you know? Is there a mayor of Disney World? <laughs> for, all we that job. for all we know, there might be actually, just to, you know, be a municipality. Wow. Actually, I don't want to be the mayor. I just want to be a councilman. That'll be fine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't ever yeah. want to be arrested by the Disney cops, though. <laughs> somebody dressed as like Mickey Mouse. Come <laughs> <laughs> along with me. <laughs> no, but if I were Disney, I'd be calling DeSantis's bluff. Oh, I'm, I'm 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 saying that if they say okay, we're just going to close the place down, okay? Uh, and, and there goes and, Orlando. 
Yeah, there goes Orlando. Exactly. <laughs> there goes pretty much Florida because they, what do they say? Something like over 50% of the income into the state comes into Disney World. Wow. No, 50%. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. That seems a lot. But Marjorie, your microphone is on. Thank you, Jeff. I think a lot of people can go once. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I've been there once. Yeah. I uh, I committed. A, I, we went on that big tram that goes into It's a Small World After All from some other place. And I, I have to admit that I, I and the woman that I took to Disney World engaged in a sexual activity while we we're on that. Oh, ah. <laughs> and she started singing the same thing about you, right? It's a small uh, world. Uh, this uh, way, uh, I, I had her hum the small world song while she was doing it. Uh, <laughs> wishful thinking. It, yeah. What do you mean wishful thinking? No, I really did. <laughs> To the woman, you know, I said, you know, we, we, we've got to have a story to go back with. How about this? And she said, OK, you know, so we, we did it. They have cameras everywhere now. You get caught doing that, you're banned for life. I guess <laughs> back then they didn't have those. And who cares? And by the time we got to It's a Small World, there was nobody there taking the ride. Mm. And when you got off the small world ride, there are photographs of you guys for sale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did, did she? Did you make her take off the mini the mini mouse? Uh, I'll tell you what I did. No, she's got to wear the ears. You know they have the haunted mansion at Disneyland. They have this this ride you take, which is an elevator that goes down really fast from the top of the the haunted mansion. And then they yeah. after you get off the ride. They have all these pictures going up that have been taken of each of the people who are taking the ride. So if you want to buy one, you can. And mm -hmm. I'm looking at all these pictures start coming down. And on one of them, a woman's top has flown off. <laughs> I wonder how many of those they got over the years. That's the, thing of of the, Uncle, the Uncle Remus ride, whatever it's called, where when it, the Lock Flume ride, where the women pull their shirts up. For the yeah. photograph. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a, a thing. As they're going down the log flume portion of that ride. Yeah, that 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 ride, by the way, is the only ride in Disneyland where when kids take it, they go, What movie was this from? Yeah. yeah. Because all the characters are from what Song of the South. Song of the South, yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. they've rebranded that right into something else. I don't remember why. I think they're rebranding it now. I don't know if it's been rebranded yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's re been rebranded, I think, Negro World. I think it's <laughs> oh, Splash Mountain. Splash yeah, Mountain. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I know. thought that changed years ago. Yeah. But uh but Marjorie won't even go. I, I suggested to her once that we go down to Disney World. And spend a weekend down there, and she didn't want to go. Why? Well, it, it is a fun place to visit. It is fun to visit. It, I, I was there when I was working for the Justice Department. We had to be in Orlando, so we said, "Let's go to Disneyland." It was like in January. That's Disney World there, by the way. Well, whatever. We drove up to the gate, and it was closed. <laughs> so we <laughs> <laughs> went the parking lot. That was my trip. Wait a minute. Why was it closed? I thought they were open 365 days a year. Certain hours in the winter. Well, you, you, uh, the funny answer would have been, well, it was Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> you know? I'm pretty sure that's a movie. Isn't that what Vacation was about? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Albert? Don't you think that'd be a great thing if Disney just told your governor to go fly it out his ass? Yeah, I think it would sure. be a great idea if every company did that. Yeah. But it's not going to happen because oh, yeah, it's gonna, all about money. Yeah, they're gonna, not going to give up billions in revenue just to fight him. <laughs> well, but it, it, they could threaten to. Well, would the governor give up billions of dollars in tax revenue? Yeah. Because he's they could trying to run for president. I think they should threaten it and then, you know, uh, they won't have to make good on it because they'll do everything to keep them from leaving. You know, I mean, you know, already... is... what, what Marjorie? Ahead, Marjorie, I was going to say they're already threatening to take away Disney's city. And yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, I mean, 
I'll tell you, I had a suggestion. I don't know if I did it here or on my other on the other show about Ukraine and that when Biden was in Poland, that he was within like, you know, 10 miles of the Ukrainian border. Why didn't he just go in and meet with Walensky? And everybody went, oh, that would be dangerous and so on and so forth. I said, no, it wouldn't be dangerous. I mean, do you really think the Russians are going to shoot down Air Force One? I mm. really don't think so. OK, but Could have been done. Uh, but they say, oh, I don't think. Well, I don't know. Should he be brave enough to do that? That's dangerous, isn't it? You know who's thinking of going to visit him? The Pope. Will Smith. The Pope. Oh, no. If it was good enough for the Pope, I think it's good enough for Biden. <clears throat> so, and in fact, when Biden finally meets the Pope again, the Pope will probably say, why didn't you go? You know, it's, mm, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, um, anyway, you know what? I think we're almost all clear on. I don't think we're going to hear about the Will Smith thing anymore. I think that's it, it's, oh, it's finally run its course. But man. It, it was every day, five, five, six, seven days, and you're going, enough is enough with this already. Only it's, not, it's not over yet because they're still going to announce their sanctions, right? What's the Will Smith right. thing? Well, he already, he already <laughs> resigned from the Oscars, so who cares? He resigned from the Oscars. Yeah. yeah. Don't you think it was? I mean, we've talked about stuff longer that long that wasn't that shocking. I mean, I thought that was pretty shocking. Yeah. Um, well, it was shocking, but it was, after all, only a pimp slap. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't like it, he hauled off and slugged him. Yeah. But, but when have you seen anything like that happen? And then the crazy. Go. Again, it's stop global, it. On global, on global television? Yeah. Never. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it, I'll, I'll tell you the reason I had such big legs as a story is because it's an incident we all witnessed. Yeah. You know, I, the last time I remember, believe it Actually, or not. Actually, I was asleep when it happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I got to tell you, the last time I remember an incident happening like that, where we all were witnesses to it, was when Oswald was killed right. by Jack mm -hmm. Ruby. I'm sitting there watching TV. Oh, look, uh, they're getting yeah. Oswald to come out and they're taking him somewhere. And he comes out and somebody p goes up and shoots him. And I'm going. I don't, I don't agree that that was the last time. No, I think the, the challenger was, was like that. Well, the no, city. the challenger the was an Janet accident. Jackson's titty at the Super Bowl. Come on. What? Janet Jackson's titty. No, 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 no. Yeah, those, were, those were accidents. Yeah, those, those were accidents. Bad. These weren't like, <laughs> look at Mandy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's Mandy, just raise the volume and close your office door. It's okay. <laughs> By the way, there was a wardrobe malfunction during the Will Smith thing, too, that people aren't talking about. What? what? Venus Williams, uh, I believe it was during I, Will's yeah. acceptance speech. I stuck with it. The, really? What happened? Uh, what Venus, happened? Venus Williams had a, a wardrobe malfunction, I believe, Nips? during... Nipslip? Yeah. Keep really? Out. I didn't see that. What's Everyone's what? talking about Will. <laughs> What's nip. slip, Mike? Everyone's it's talking about Will. Yeah, no, it was a nip, nip slip. What, nip slip. What did you see? I I hate to be. I hate to sound like an old fart here, but the dresses what? these women were wearing to the Oscars. I mean, how would it? How can you prevent a nip slip? I mean, <laughs> double know, stick tape. Right. No, but yeah. It, you know, double stick tape, especially when it, they're hot lights and everything, get a little sweaty. Nice. become a little loose you know and all of a sudden you've got venus in your face you know i think it's, hot lights is the name of the uh the way the production crew is nicknamed that event yeah hot lights <laughs> hot light yes uh yes mandy i was just gonna add to my comment about it being shocking also it was the person that did it it was it wasn't some person that we normally think is somebody a yeah it's somebody who's made Bill it yeah, it, it, somebody who's made his career on being Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah. With an open marriage. Well, yeah. What was as shocking as O.J. Simpson? That was the same thing. That yeah. Was, well, how about O.J. Simpson's response? Oh, did he say something? <laughs> well, we, yeah, we he, did. he said something, yeah. I didn't hear oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When You know when O.J. Simpson says, you've gone a little too far away. <laughs> 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 Yeah. 
this this may be an interesting segue uh, because we haven't talked about the Grammys yet. Questlove was on the Grammys last night, and he kind of made a little bit of a joke about it. Uh, it was it was it was funny to see in the entire audience. It like kind of lightened up the room. But I thought that Grammys last night well, were incredible. Questlove Questlove got robbed of his moment. You know that's what was so sad. You agree with that, right, Steve? Absolutely. He made a great documentary and it won the award and it was totally obliterated by that stupidity. <laughs> because he had to follow that. Right. That's what Chris Rock was presenting. Right? And and I'll tell you, everything that came after it uh, really was diminished <laughs> by that moment. You know, yeah. he completely distracted everybody from from the moment. So the, the people who got their awards after that, you know, except him, of course. Uh, uh, were, it was all slightly diminished, you know, and and that's where he was really wrong. I think it, it was total lack of respect for his fellow performers. Absolutely. And, but I said this last week, and I'll say it again. Here we are. We're still talking about it. I said this last week that the re, one of the contributing factors to it is: Did you see how far Will Smith was? from Chris Rock because of that new seating they did where everybody was sitting around at cocktail tables and so on. I literally oh, counted it. I think he was 10 to 15 steps from Chris Rock. If that, and he, and all he had to do was walk straight one little step. And that was it. Invasion is here. It would have never happened. It would have never happened if they had been the old seating at the uh, Dolby where it was just like, you know, he have to go past everybody when he got up and go, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And then get to the stairs and then walk up five stairs. <laughs> Look at Mandy. She's doing it. He wouldn't have done that. <laughs> you, you know, he might've yelled something from his seat, but that would be the slap would have never happened. You know? So. Well, they would have in the Harvey Weinstein seat, the front row, so they can keep shooting the guy. You know. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Back in the back in the day, where people actually, or Glenn Weiss thought people cared about Harvey Weinstein. Well, they said they've only thrown what three people out of the Academy, one of which was Weinstein, another one was Polanski. Oh, um, Roman Polanski yeah. and um, Bill Cosby. Carmen Bill Cosby. Caridi. Bill Cosby. I no, was Carmen Caridi. I was seeing oh, a lot oh, of Is there outrage. another one? We, wait a minute. Leave it to Shecky. He's going to come up with one we never Carmen heard of. Carmen Caridi, who's a minor actor, did TV, whatever, because mm -hmm. he lent Alex a DVD of one of the screeners, and they caught him. What? What about when they were blacklisting everybody? Didn't people get thrown out then? I don't think so. I, they might not have been members of the Academy. Hmm. I mean, I've, I've seen so much faux outrage on social media saying they should throw Woody Allen out of the Academy, not realizing he's never been a member of the Academy. And why should they throw, and why should they throw him out? What is What have you ever witnessed him do? I mean, we saw Will Smith get up and hit this guy. What have you seen Woody Allen do? Woody Allen. Well, Woody had, a, had, had an insane girlfriend. Yes. Yes. And, and today, the outrage outrage I'm seeing about the Grammys is that they they dared to give Louis C.K. the comedy album Grammy. How did, dare they? Did they last night? Yeah, yeah, Louis won best comedy album. Good for him. Yeah, and people are outraged. Why? Outraged? <laughs> Good. This is a guy. In case people don't remember, his his crime was that he admitted when it was brought up that there were three women who came up to his room. They were comedians who wanted to ask him some questions and stuff. And in the middle of it, he said, do any of you mind if I pull out my penis? Right. <laughs> and nobody, nobody, said, nobody no. said no. Nobody said, don't do it. Don't do it. So he pulled it out. And nobody left the room while it was hanging out. <laughs> what did, what's, what's he guilty of? What he's guilty of is... Being a gentleman, asking <laughs> first. You know, I mean, come on. That's where Look, I've gone. These wrong women these could years. have left the room, but they wanted to sit. They sit there and I see Louis C. Because they're there. they're they're in the room with a star. So you know, 
It's Louis C.K. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can go home with him tonight. I think yeah. it was Louis, I, I, Louis I, I, C.K. Over the years, <laughs> in a minor way, I've gotten I got to know Louis. Okay, in fact, I even hired Louis on one occasion for one of my New Year's shows at the Palace of Fine Arts. And uh, he's a nice guy, talented, very quiet, you know, and uh, a very good comedian and uh, and writer. And director. He's directed and a lot he, of movies. He was a writer on our show for about a year. Okay. So, you know, to see this happen to Louis, is, it bothers me a great deal because he's a great talent. And how, is there an expiration date on this thing? Right. That's the thing. You have to lose your career forever. You, know, you can't apologize. For anything. You, can't, you can't make a mistake anymore. I think he admitted it. it he apologized. What more can he do? So I he's not entitled to a career. Sorry, I exposed my penis. I think him winning the Grammy is proof that uh, you can get you can get past it. I think that right there is a. Is well, a it's sign not like any matter that it. he won a Grammy. No one. No one cares. cares. No one cares. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, if he's going to win a Grammy, he might not get deplatformed. So we may see another couple specials from him, which will allow him to kind of do his thing. Yeah. I mean, he'll do his thing and release his specials on his website for people to buy, but he's you're not seeing him on television. Yeah, you don't think oh, I'm, I'm just a Netflix I, special? I'm just yeah. three, I'm, I'm just no? three away from having an egot. So you know, I'm... <laughs> by the way, I have to tell you, if you're going to win an Emmy, you have to be a member of the Academy. That's in other words, uh, uh, huh. you or the company that you worked for has to be who's nominate getting you nominated have to be members of the academy because I know that when I uh, got nominated, they were going to nominate me. They said I had to join in order to be in contention. So hmm. okay, but what if your radio station was a member already at that point? They they wouldn't be because that's radio; it's not television. Okay, hmm. uh, but no, no. So I mean, I joined just to make sure that I. Was there you got your sports Emmy? My sports Emmy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's what happens. But anyway, so uh, uh, I, yeah, I watched a little bit of that last night, and they had Walensky giving a speech in English, mm. and yeah. but his voice sounded trashed, like he's really, you know, been Exhausting. talking a lot. And he's, he's, I hear he's going through some hard times. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, I heard that too. Yeah. yeah. So, so does anybody ever go up to him and say, "So, how did your day go?" <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was an incredible show last night. The performers, a lot of depth in the performers that were there last okay. night. I, I, it was the best Grammys, as far as I'm concerned, it was the best Grammys in probably a decade. I it never so watch them, so I couldn't. Yeah, I, I couldn't care less about these performers. Right. Nothing against them. The, the lady no, Gaga, no relationship. Tony Bennett. Yeah, the, the Lady Gaga Tony Bennett segment was unbelievable. Yeah, I'll bet. Yeah, but, but I mean, I, would, I think I knew ten percent. And of the now get the Gene Herschel award. Is he a great humanitarian? Great. Who? No, I said Lady Gaga will get the Gene Herschel humanitarian award. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're right. But I mean, I um, uh, oh, I just wanted but to say she one thing. Care of Liza, then she took care okay. of Okay, how many Bennett. here in this group? Because basically older people here know who Billie Eilish is. I, I know the name. I know the name, I but I've never heard a song. Is it my imagination, singing? or does she have the thinnest non-singing voice alive? Well, uh, a lot uh, of let, Let's go to Mandy. She's the young, the young chick <laughs> in the group here. That's just her her style so she kind of sticks out but i think a lot of artists are kind of copying it i feel like i've heard other artists that kind of have that breathy kind of yeah but she doesn't even she can't even she has such a thin voice mm -hmm. that she can't really belt out a song yeah no you know the performance last night was not lip synced and she, that that girl has a lot of depth to her that was a really, I, mean, a lot really of what? I can see why she's so prolific and why so many kids look at her as like when I was in school, Kurt Cobain, I can see why so many people look at her like in that role. Mm -hmm. uh, Albert looks a little amazed at what we're saying here. No, not at all. Not <laughs> at all. I, I think that's pretty much on target. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, 
I just, you know, I, I don't get Billie Eilish. You know, I get a lot of other people. Like I watch, what was it? Uh, Naz? What was it? What's his name? Little Nas X. Little Nas, Nas X last night. I thought he was very good. Yeah. Thought he was terrific. Uh, and I, I understand why people would want to hear his stuff. Uh, even as an 82 year old guy, but I, I, you know, he certainly is a lot better than Billie Eilish or Eyelid or whatever her name is. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz and H E R were incredible as well. They played uh, well, H E her. She played one of her songs, and then she joined Lenny Kravitz for "Are You Gonna Go My Way," and it was, it was, it was good. Oh, hum. Well, <laughs> I, Marjorie and I are the kind of people to watch TMZ and go, "Who the fuck is that?" Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just not you know hey we're we've run out of time yes we have oh. i've got to get ready to mail yeah go get <laughs> yeah you gotta go <laughs> seriously i want to get some of a bitch on here. Some guy do this for me because i don't want to see him just throw the chandelier at him <laughs> leave, leave the leave the camera on alex Let's yeah see. What happened? Yeah, that right, son of a right. bitch has got so much to answer for. Like, firstly, hey, sir, why are you trying to charge two senior citizens for a stove you didn't even buy? Uh, <laughs> because he's a very dumb human being. Yeah. Why are you trying to take, not give them back their security deposit? Right. Yeah. Pull a phantom of the opera on him and drop the chandelier on his head. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> if, I, if I knew the song that came in, I'd play it. Uh, hey, listen, it's so good to talking to you people. I'm going to start this waving because I'm going to sign off. Yeah, okay. Bye, well, anyway, I want to thank Marjorie bye. for being here. Bye-bye, babe. Bye-bye. Uh, Rick, always good having you here. Scott Boddicker, you haven't said much of anything, but it's always nice to see you. He saves it for Jack Bishop. <laughs> yeah, <he's laughs> uh, Len LaFrisco, you're, you're really a trooper. We love having you here. Steve Bender. I still say, here we are. I know. I, every weekend in April we're, is busy for some reason, so it'll be soon. But like, gotta Okay, but don't worry. I'll, I'm around. I'm not dying of cancer. So, okay. you know, <laughs> that one's well. That's good to oh, know. I didn't tell anybody here. I got my test back the Tuesday of last week, and uh, I have no detectable PSA. So, How's your hand? And this is after two years. The hand's still fucked. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Mike Chisholm, thank you, from Canada. <clears throat> Mandy, He's always a pleasure to have you here. Uh, the Darla of the Little Rascal. <laughs> yeah. what, there. what would you, who said something? What? Somebody say something? Oh, okay. Uh, Jeffrey Stein, thank you. And thank you. Yeah. Ray, Albert, we got to, you and I just got to talk. I just got to maybe do you something have my number. for the show. Thank you. Huh? Yeah. You have my number. Thank you. Yeah, I have your, I have your number. I had it a long time ago. <laughs> uh, and, uh, <laughs> Uh, and of course, what's his name? Better known as the father of Adrian. <laughs> yeah, that's, oh, yeah. Put that on my tombstone. Yeah, that's, that's Brian. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll sign off here and thank all of you for joining. Bye. Thanks, Alex. Fun. See you next week. Bye. Bye.